and what's up guys hope everybody's good my name's aaron welcome to ux crypto and today we're going to be talking about bitcoin i'm going to show you a chart which is pretty interesting so let's get into it so this is the bitcoin unrealized profit and loss chart and uh it basically gives you the btc price here in usd realized price and um basically if you guys have seen this before it's about the greed index um so if i quickly do a little search so we'll do the wall street uh cheat sheet right so um and this is based off this theory here so um if we quickly get that up go away cool so this here if we zoom into that so it just basically gives you a uh, disbelief hope um optimism belief thrill euphoria and uh, this is basically giving you the market psychology of humans or human beings unless dogs do trading yeah <laughs> um and then um basically you know boom and bust cycles right so you would have a blow up top and then um uh, complacency anxiety denial panic anger depression disbelief and then we go on again and that is how that happens right you might get some changes in it so you'd get uh you know double top for example might be a bit higher for example this last bull run for bitcoin and uh, that's what happened but the previous bull run to that was like this and uh yeah it's, it's quite accurate as you can see so uh, anyway back to this chart uh so now you can see euphoria greed disbelief denial optimism anxiety hope fear capitulation and now you can see all of that on a chart right um so what does that tell us right um, where are we right now right uh, so for example capitulation is obviously the one of the lowest points in the market in terms of uh, uh, market cuts market psychology of humans meaning everyone's like just like oh my god everything is terrible and we go and that is usually the bottom of the market right so if we look back and look at any time it's green we can see look green and that in 2012 was the bottom of the market right so capitulation and then if you go back into green, um, you stayed in green on, uh, what is this, 2015 till, yeah, basically 2015, where the bottom was. So we went for a couple months there, like about four or five months. Um, and this was always in that a capitulation area. And we had the bottom around these areas. And obviously you would have done very good if you bought any prices around here. And, uh, you know, lowest was $175. And then ranging in that area to around $220. So you know, a little bit of a say 20% difference in it, um, but we was at the bottom there, right? And does that still hold true here? Yes, it does. So in the 2018 bottom, it held true, as in, uh, so from December all the way till around March, so three months, we had capitulation and that marked the bottom. And the same, if we go with a little COVID crash, we had capitulation there and that was one couple days uh, maybe a week and that was very temporary and what do we see right now where are we right now right now we see capitulation right and uh and we've had that for quite some time now so probably towards the six month mark and um we're still in capitulation so what does this mean does this mean this is a great time to buy uh does this mean that you know maybe we should start thinking about getting into the market um who knows i know what i'm doing i am definitely looking into getting into the market i've already got into the market a couple of months ago um and obviously i'm still looking to dollar cost average at a low price uh, my strategy is to get in when things are in capitulation or hope and fear and uh that is kind of when i start dollar cost averaging um you could say that that's not proper dollar cost averaging but that's kind of worked out for me in the past so i'm getting quite low um i'm not 100 concerned if i get the total bottom I'm more looking for a rounder bottom, so I just average in a good price I think I'll get. And uh, I believe in the Bitcoin cycles, and I think that this will remain true for forevermore, um, because it's an algorithm, right? And uh, maths doesn't lie. So that's where I stand with that. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, hit a like, and leave a comment if you want to debate this, if you think it's right, or if you think it's wrong all to be debated but um yeah i hope you have a great great day and uh peace